Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be conducting a ballistic skeleton test for the 40 caliber spear gold dot hollow point. So what we have here is the largest of the 40 caliber spear gold dot hollow points. This is the 180 grain. Now what's interesting about this is it's actually carried currently by the California Highway Patrol. We also have a Smith & Wesson Model 4006 here that was carried by a highway patrolman for 23 years and used in three officer-involved shootings. Now what we're going to be doing today is shooting this uh, 40 caliber round through our chronograph and into our ballistics gel to see how it performs. So we fired two shots, our first one hit the table, so we decided to take a second, and that had a decent placement inside the gel. It left the barrel at 1,496 feet per second, expanded just as designed, and created a 0.6 inch maximum permanent cavity here at the five inch mark. Now from the five inch mark on, we saw an odd performance from the spear gold dot. It actually tapered off into a 0.10 inch cavity and went through the entire block of gel. Now, it didn't weave or bob off into a weird direction, which uh, we've seen with some rounds, so that's really good. That's what you want in a defensive round. Uh, by the time it got to the end of the ballistic skeleton, it really didn't have much velocity left, and the round actually plopped out onto the table. Now, that's something we don't get to see too often, so we actually were able to recover the round, and we can tell here that it expanded just as designed, and we can see the pedals peeled back, and it looks like what a black talon really should look like after you fired it through someone or ballistic skeleton. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys, see you next time.